back. Right now we're fortunate to have Dan Amrick. That's right, Amrick. It's, it's, it's spelled kind of weird, but the, the rich is actually Rick. Right. That's what threw me off. Well, he's the senior editor of Game Pro Magazine, and he's here in our comfy chairs to show us the holiday game picks for the Xbox, the GameCube, and the PlayStation 2. Yep. But, I mean, gaming is just hot. My dad is even thinking about getting a game system. Well, dad should. Everyone should. Really? It helps my bottom line. No, I mean, uh, gaming has grown to the point where... Basically, there's something for everybody now, and yeah. that you know that really helps. All right, so what were the hottest games this holiday season? Uh, without fail, it's funny because each system kind of has one star title, and then there's a couple games that you know are out for all of them. Mm -hmm. The the first biggie, obviously, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, it's hard to beat Grand Theft. It's been a, a big seller. It's definitely mature rated. It's definitely for adults. If you like say, yeah. Tarantino movies and you want to like live in one, because it's got boobies. Well, it's got boobies and it's and it's got druggies and it's got vehicular homicide and other fun things for oh. consenting adults. Uh -huh. So that's the key. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Is this it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> we've kind of got some weird, I don't know, we've got some weird lighting going on in the studio, but I think the folks at home can see it a lot better than we can. Yeah, basically you play a thug and, uh, oh, there we go. Oh, thanks. You play a thug and you drive around uh, the fictional Vice City, which looks uncannily like Miami, driving uh, fictional cars that look uncannily like Lamborghinis and low riders and stuff like that. So it's a very long game. Uh, but it's it, you feel so completely engulfed in it. That Is that why it was playing. picked? Then? Yeah, absolutely. It's 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 like hours and hours and hours of gameplay, and it's uh, it's really hard to stop playing. Is it just for the PS2? Right now, yeah. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 is out for the PC, the preceding game, and so there's a chance that Vice City might come out for PC as well. Oh, but really? It's PS2 only as far as it comes to consoles. See, the PS2 also also has the Activision game stuff. Yes. It's yeah. a very good collection. Yeah, I, I, well, I got the controller. Uh, one of my oh, yeah, subscribers yeah, yeah. sent me the actual controller. It's really, really neat. You can play yeah. old classic uh, Activision games on, on a controller, like 20 bucks. You can get it online. Yep. All right, so that was a PlayStation 2. Let's flip over to the GameCube, Nintendo's yes. entry. Now, what, what's the hot game with the GameCube? Uh, Metroid Prime All right. is, the, uh, is the revival of one of their most beloved series. Uh, yes, oh, I remember. Back. You, know, you remember the 2D used to be in the giant orange suit, jumping left and right. And oh, stuff. yeah. I beat um, that game, yeah. Now you are in first-person mode, uh, which was really controversial. A lot of people didn't think the game was going to convey when you got to first person. They said, oh, we don't want to, you know, we don't want a Doom clone, we don't want a Quake clone. And all the fans got really upset about it without ever having seen anything. Uh, you know, <laughs> really? As fans are wont to do. Uh, but when the game came out, everybody was really uh, thrilled with the way it turned out. Uh, it turned out to be a, a very easy to play game, really captured the spirit of the old classic games that everybody fell in love with to begin with. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you know, lots of fun things to... Uh, gadgets to play with and things to scan and you know basically there's some tips for this on techtv.com uh, oh. just through some of our our pro tips online so that uh, right. anybody that likes what they're seeing and wants to lo know more about it or just how to survive the first couple of levels See, they just got it for christmas yeah i mean i probably would have ended up with the gamecube i ended up testing a few games for the xbox though so mm -hmm. i ended up getting an xbox but i probably would have ended up with the gamecube just because the titles i think are just more my game style you well, know you fun. know you can't get Nintendo titles anywhere else. They yeah. they always, you know, Metroid, Mario, uh, Zelda's coming out next year. You know, there's there's, you can't go wrong with a Nintendo console. Definitely. Well, let's move on to the Xbox then. The one of the things that I've got. Let's flip over here. Use our. This is kind of like a KVM switch that I'm flipping back and forth that allows us to see mm -hmm. video and play in a different controller here. <laughs> now this would be Splinter Cell, but it doesn't seem to want to. Uh, Splin go along. Splintering? Yeah, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell. It's based on uh, Tom Clancy's world of espionage and spies and thrillers and yeah. military stuff. And um, it's wow, it's really messing up too because we're on live TV. Uh, but <laughs> it happened. But this yeah. is Xbox Live. No, it's <laughs> not right, live. But but uh, actually, if you take Splinter Cell on Xbox Live, you can download some original content that oh, you can't get otherwise. So good joke. It oh. turned out to be uh, true. Even. I didn't mean uh, to. But yeah, it's again, it's it's sort of adult oriented. But it's very stealthy. You're an operative. You've got to break into the defense ministry, and you've got to go around the world and and uh, sneak <laughs> behind people and and take them out. Yeah, it's, it seems like y y the y your team is much in line with our team over extended play because we've talked about these games before as oh, hot yeah. picks. Yeah. So I mean, it's not just. I mean, a lot of people think, well, you know, someone. You know, paid you to do no. say this and, and whatnot. I mean, these are true picks. Oh no, now, Adam and the team over there knows what they're talking about. Yeah. Oh, so you, you met Adam? Then. Uh, no, I haven't had the pleasure. Really? No, I, but I was on extended play and I didn't get to meet Adam. You, you got it. Oh that? man, you got it. You got to ask him about his story about why he doesn't drink Pete's coffee anymore. Okay. It's it's, it's really funny because he, he it was so strong. He's like, he said he'd be freaking out. Like, why are you talking to me? Why are you doing this? Here's my best Adam Sessler. We give it a five. Out of five. <laughs> that's very good. Is that a good one? I've yes, been that's very good. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's flip back over to the PlayStation and look at the, the other game you brought with you, Tony yep. Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Yeah. Oops, we forgot to reset it. But oh, yeah, I need Hawk's to reset. I'm sorry. The, the, uh, the eternal uh, I, I ejected it. I did what I was supposed to do, Roger. You did. You, 
Roger Sniff and Whiteout, we've been over this. We know I know. We, we weren't supposed to. Um, All right. But Let's yeah. see if we get it now here. Tony Hawk's been a, a strong franchise for Activision for the last couple of years. Tony Hawk 4 is the latest one. Features really good online play. If you have the broadband adapter for PS2, you've got to pick this up. Uh, very simple to get involved in eight-player skateboarding games eight? and stuff like that. Custom levels that you can create and then upload, and then Neversoft, the developer, runs a server where you can download fresh levels every day if you want. Wow. Um, it's got everything that we like from the old games, but they totally revamped the career mode so that it's a, lot, uh, it's a lot more fun. You don't feel like you have to do the same thing over and over and over and over again. You can finish the game. You can go through every uh, goal in the game with any skater you want. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think we got it. Um, you don't have to do it. It's not as linear as the other ones were, where you had to pick a character, beat the game with that character, and then uh, do it all over again with like 15 different characters. Mm -hmm. Now you can do it however you want to do it, at your own pace, create your own skater, the whole bit. They just skate or die. Skate or die. It's exactly. Good. Yeah, no pool jousts, unfortunately. We oh. really need that back. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. But uh, yeah, Tony Hawk's still going strong. Still a really good, good game for, and that's how for all three platforms: PS2, GameCube, and Xbox. All right, fair enough. Well, thank you so much. Sure, thank you. Want to come back sometime? I would love to come I mean, back. We like Adam, but we always <laughs> like looking outside to get opinions as well. It's yeah. always good. And of course, if you want to know more about any of these games, you can surf on over to our website. The address: techtv.com/slash/call for help. And don't